2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. The Lord is not slow or slack concerning his promise, as some count slowness or slackness, but is patient toward you, not wishing for any to perish, but for all to come to repentance. Now, I hear this verse being used so many times, and people think that this verse is applying to unbelievers. Well, it cannot apply to unbelievers because the context the context makes it clear who Peter is referring to in in his in his letter. And just a simple cursory of of this text, you'll see you'll see the point of who Peter is talking to. Okay? So, verse 9, he says, "The Lord is not slow uh, about his promise as some count slowness, but is patient toward you," right? Who is the you that Peter is referring to? Answer. Verse one. Same letter. This now, beloved. The second letter I am writing to you. In which I am stirring up your sincere mind by way of reminder. He's writing, he's talking to his beloved, his, 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 his children, talking to Christians, if you will. Okay. Is that all right? Is that, is that okay? We can, we, can we at least concede to that point so far? Hopefully. Yes. No. Let's see. That's just in the, that's just in the first verse of the third chapter. Let's go to chapter one. Same letter. Simon Peter, a bond servant and apostle of Jesus Christ to those who have received a kind of faith of the same kind. Those of us who have received the faith of the same kind as ours by the righteousness of God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Grace and peace be multiplied to you and the knowledge of God and of Jesus, our Lord, seeing that his divine power has granted to us. Everything pertaining to life and godliness through the true knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and excellence. And if that does not convince you enough, not a problem. Peter writes two letters. Let's go to his first letter then. Maybe this one will do. First Peter chapter one, verse one. Peter an apostle of Jesus Christ to those who reside as aliens scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, who are chosen according to God, according to the foreknowledge of God, the father by the sanctifying work of the spirit to obey Jesus Christ and be sprinkled with his blood. There's the atonement right there, too, ladies and gentlemen. Particular redemption. Yeah, yeah. Particular redemption is right there in verse two. Limited atonement right there in verse two. His death applies not to the world, but to his elect. To his elect according to the foreknowledge of god the father by the sanctifying work of the spirit to obey jesus christ and be sprinkled with his blood may grace and peace be yours in the fullest measure so second second peter 3 9 Go back again real quick. Second Peter three, nine. The Lord is not slow about his promise as some count slowness, but is patient toward you, not wishing for any to perish, but for all to come to repentance. The, the you that he's referring to is his elect.
those who are chosen those who are chosen